Good morning, buenos dias. This is Miss Eunice speaking here. I would love to show everyone what a day at Palmer Playmates looks like. When pulling up into Palmer Playmates, you will be pulling in through this cul-de-sac here. Make sure you drive no more than 20 miles per hour. This is a neighborhood street and we need to drive slowly for the safety of others and our children. The slow sign will be out to remind you of this. His name is Jose. You guys can say hi Jose. You can wave to Jose. You can air five Jose. But we do not touch Jose. He is there to remind us of the safety rules and regulations in this neighborhood. When you park, please make sure to not park in front of any driveways blocking anybody's exit. As we come over here, you guys will start seeing signs that say six feet apart. Six feet apart. You will also see our beautiful chalk art done by some of our amazing neighbors that have always been here to help us and welcome us and you guys to Palmer Clinic. There's another six feet apart, six feet apart. <clears throat> We have now arrived to the sibling sitting area. The sibling sitting area is for our siblings to sit there and wait as you check your child in. The siblings are more than welcome to sit there. They are spaced six feet apart following our rules and regulations of social distancing at our social distancing preschool. They are not allowed to come in, but they are more than welcome to wait there. <clears throat> when you guys get to the school, first thing you'll see one of the first things you'll see is our board with our rules and regulations these are the rules we follow at the school no mask no service no entry another one is maintain social distancing this bottom one says lavate la manos which means wash your hands we will learn how to wash our hands here with the appropriate 20 seconds. We will learn a song that is quite fun to wash your hands to. I sing it myself here at school and I sing it at home. <clears throat> this area is regularly disinfected. We disinfect the inside of the school, we disinfect the outside of the school. We want to make sure your child is in a safe environment where they could learn at full capacity. As we come over here, when you guys are in line waiting to sign in your children, these are the six feet placement. If somebody isn't the one in front of you, you just please wait your turn here and we will be right with you. When you walk up, you will be greeted by our sanitizing table here. You have to wear a mask before you walk up to the school. If you forgot one, no problem. We have extra ones here for your convenience and you can take a pump of our hand sanitizer. Miss Debbie will be here waiting to take your temperature. She will take every child and adult temperature and write it down. As soon as she does that and we're good to go, you guys can look at this clock right here and walk on over to our clipboards. Each clipboard is individualized for each child. They each have the child's name. You'll take your clipboard, check them in, and then put your clipboard back can also see our welcome to our social distance school and our beautiful school welcoming you to the first day of class. Welcome to your social distancing preschool, Miss Eunice and Miss Debbie. As soon as your child is checked in and ready to go, Miss Debbie will ring this doorbell right here. I will come out and receive your child or your child will be brought back into me. And now I will hand you over to Miss Debbie. She will continue with the rest of our tour. Thank you, Miss Eunice, so much. Let me go ahead. I'm going to buzz you in. Bye, guys. There she goes, guys. I'm going to buzz her in, and you will see her a little later. Thank you, Miss Bye, Eunice. Debbie. Thank you so much. Okay, everybody, so welcome. This is your visual tour here of our school because we won't be allowed to have any visitors or parents coming in. 
but don't worry we're going to give you this visual tour so you'll see everything this will be your greeting area your sign in area here and i'm going to be having you come to this area and greet me you'll come to this social distancing six foot i will then take your temperature Okay, the temperature um, gauge will tell me what your temperature is. And I'm sorry that if you're running a temperature, parents, I will also have to say goodbye to you. You'll take your child home. You'll get um, a testing site from me resource. It's in your parent packet that you're going to receive from me. And you call your doctor for instructions of what you need to do. I cannot accept your child. If you don't have a fever when I check you, but your child does, again, I cannot accept your child for the day. We have so many rules and regulations. It's going to be in your parent packet. It's gonna be on the news. You might be getting emails from us. You'll be getting flyers from us. Every day it could change, and I'm so sorry, but you need to support us to keep your family safe and to keep your teachers safe so we don't ever have to close down again. I need that commitment from you. So after um, I either say goodbye to you um, because you have a fever or your child does, or I'm gonna be accepting your child, you're gonna say goodbye to your child or children. I'm gonna accept them for the day. You're gonna go off and go to work or to school. And then I'm gonna come over here and I'm going to be buzzing Miss Eunice in so that she can accept your child. Then I would stay out here and I would wait for the next family. So I'll come over here. Welcome to our social distancing preschool. It's a new year, everybody, but we're going to work this out together. And we're going to be a family and we're going to be a team. And please do not be nervous. So, I'm going to ring the doorbell. Miss Eunice will come out. And we're going to continue our visual tour video. Hi, Miss Eunice. Hi, Miss Debbie. <laughs> Miss Eunice, I'm going to show Miss Debbie's playground now and the okay. vocabulary word Thank for you. the week. Welcome to Palmer Playmates, <laughs> friends. Okay. The Go first thing ahead. I want to show you, you guys, is my beautiful welcome sanctuary. This is Miss Debbie's playground. None of the children will be playing out here, but I want you to be welcome and the beautiful, beautiful, beautiful flowers and plants and colors and decorations that I have for you to just show you the beauty of what Mother Earth has given to us. And I want you to feel welcome and safe here. The first thing I'd like to show you is a sign. The sign says Miss Debbie's Place, Kids Spoiled Here, Stories from Long Ago, Cookies and Hugs, Lullabies and Rags. Mm -hmm. And here is our school mascot. This is Lady Bella. The first vocabulary word that your children are going to learn, what letters are in this word, is welcome. Okay, then we're going to come over to the door here. I want you to see this beautiful, beautiful school bell because this home is my home and I've made this home available to you and it was designed especially for children to have a homeschool experience. It's going to be wonderful. So you come up and we're going to open the door and show you some more laws and rules that we have to follow through the state of California and the health department. Okay, so they're all over the school. So in case you forgot, some of the rules will be here, posted and in your parent handbook. Here's classroom number one, where we'll greet you. I'll give you to Miss Eunice. And Miss Eunice is going to take your child and she's gonna give them their health check. Here's our welcoming Door. Miss Eunice has 
use the sanitizer. She's also going to start right here, having your child sanitize their hand. Okay, Miss Nina. Thank you, Miss Debbie. Thank you. I'll wrap my little chickens, my little silly willies. I don't know you guys yet, but I love you so much already. These are our cubbies. Each child will have their own individualized cubby. It will have their name. There will be their own individual sanitizer with their initials, a mask in case they forgot theirs, a bag with extra clothes, and another bag with their nap bedding. Each cubby is an individualized cubby, so they should keep to their own cubby. Each child will only go into theirs. They will not go into their friends because we don't like friends taking our things, right? So when we come in, you guys will give your jackets to your mom, your dad, whoever brings you. We do not need the jackets at this school. Right now, you cannot bring your own toys from home, but as soon as you guys are able to, we will let you know. So when you check in, you're all sanitized, temperature is good to go. You put your shoes right there. Give your jacket to your parent and head on over here with Miss Eunice. We are going to the bathroom. Vamos a ir al baño. If there is a friend in the bathroom and you need to wait your turn, you are more than welcome to sit right here. We have books, we have cars. You can only get one car at a time and one book at a time. We do not touch that. And we don't play with the cars on the tile. We only play with one car at a time right here. This is a waiting area. And as soon as your friend is out and it's your turn, you put your car back where it goes. You put the book back where it goes and you follow me. I would love to show you guys our posters that we have in the bathroom first. Steps to brushing your teeth. We will be showing you how to brush your teeth. We have a poster showing us how to get rid of the nasty, icky, invisible germs that we have. And I wanna show you guys the bathroom. I love all this sea life. Look at those dolphins, they look so beautiful. We have a turtle, a seahorse, Ooh, sea star, a penguin. We have all kinds of awesome stuff. So when you guys come in the bathroom and you're done, right here you will get a piece of paper. You will clean yourself really good and you don't throw it in the toilet. You go around and you throw it in the trash. We will be teaching you guys how to do everything on your own, but we are always, 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 always here to help you. Now, this is Miss Eunice with my safety mask on to keep myself and you guys safe. I will be showing you guys how to wash your hands with the song that we learned at school. Miss Debbie will be holding it for me. Thank you, Miss Beautiful Debbie. Okay. So the first thing we do, you guys do not touch the toilet, the handle, the soap, and we don't touch the light. Only teacher touches it. So you guys don't even have to worry about it. All you have to worry about is playing and having fun. So, take a little paper, okay, get a little bit of soap, and we go like this as we sing your song. Wash, wash, wash your hands, wash the germs away, wipe them with the paper towel, throw it in the trash. One more time. Wash, wash, wash your hands, wash the germs away. Wipe them with the paper towel, throw it in the trash. We want to do it until our hands are white like this. So now we come over here. Miss Eunice opens the water a little bit. Wash, wash, wash your hands, wash the germs away. Wipe them with a paper towel, throw it in the trash. So we wipe our hands on the outside. And then we're not done. Go like this. One two, three, four, five. Now in Spanish. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco. When we're done, we walk over here. We throw it in the trash. We get a paper for our friend. 
Sometimes we have oopsie daisies. So I will just pick this up and put it right in the trash because it fell. And as soon as you guys are done washing up, you're ready to go, you will come over here to the living room. But before you guys do that, I have something called a morning health check. Everyone's name will be on here. I will have the date. I will check your nose, check your eyes, check your hair, check. What I'm checking for is to make sure that you come to school safe with no scratches, no bruises. And if you do, we have to write it down so your parent knows everything that's going on so they know that you're safe and that you're having fun. And before I hand you over to Miss Debbie, I want to show you guys one more thing. This is our nap room. There are no shoes allowed in the nap room. Teacher took them out, and now we can go in. In the nap room, guys, we use our indoor voices. That means we don't talk like this. We talk like this, okay? So each of you will have your own napping mat. The way you will find your nap mat, it has your name on it. We want to show you our beautiful nap room full of Pooh Bear and love. And it's not scary at all. We have these big awesome windows where light will be coming in. Just enough light so you can sleep and just enough light so you won't be scared. Everyone, we have a special camera here. So when Miss Debbie, after she's done rubbing your backs and making sure you're asleep and having sweet dreams, I have the camera there to watch you while I'm going to get your snack ready, Eunice and I are we're getting your curr curriculum ready and everything ready for the afternoon schedule. <laughs> Here's our Miss Eunice. Hey guys. We love I just want to show you how comfy it is. Yeah, it's very comfy in here. And when you guys are taking a nap, Miss Eunice has another special chart right here. This is our children's nap time check. It has the date and I check on you guys every 10 minutes to make sure that you're breathing like this. If you're breathing fast, I pat your back, make sure you're relaxed, make sure you're having good dreams and you're having a good night's rest. Okay? And now we're going to walk over here and Miss Debbie is going to show you the next part of our tour. Thank you so much, Miss Eunice. We'll see you on the playground. Okay. All right, so now Miss Eunice is going out on the playground while I take you on our virtual tour, families. This is one of our exits. We want to show you that we have many exits inside for emergencies and just to get in and out. So um, here's one of our exits for an emergency. And we'll be teaching your children all about emergencies and evacuations and fire drills. Over here, we're going back to their cubbies. When they wake up from their nap, they'll put their mats back. They'll put their sheets and blankets away. Then over here, we have our wonderful living room. This is our playroom, one of our playrooms. This is Miss Debbie's home, but she's designed this home especially for you families to bring your children here to learn. This area will be set up in stations with blocks and math activities and science activities and all kinds of activities that your children will play with their friends and learn social skills. You'll have your individual time if you want to play alone, no problem. This is your welcoming door that you come in in the mornings and you'll leave in the afternoons. I want to show you here, this is classroom number one. In classroom number one, you have so many wonderful things to learn and you have many properties that are your very own property, no one else's. One of them is this chair pocket. Every chair has a chair pocket. Let's look inside and see what's inside this chair pocket. So in here is a box. And the box is full of all your pencils and chalk and sharpeners and markers and anything you're going to need to write and draw with. Also in there, you have writing tablets. You have scissors and rulers for measuring. There's so many things in there that's going to help you to learn all about school and to make your goals with fine motor skills. 
here we have all the age appropriate materials that you'll come and use each day. We have games and magnets and beads and lacing and puzzles and we have ramps and mystery boxes and stamps and tiles and numbers and science and it's just going to be so wonderful. You're going to match. You're going to ship. You're going to sort. So up here, parents, we have the calendar. Every month, every day, you'll know what's happening here. And you have your very own calendar to put at home. So you can prepare your children every night before they go to bed or in the morning and let them know what they're going to be doing for the day. Here's your menu of all the nutritional foods they're going to eat. They will have a snack, breakfast, lunch, and another snack. This is Miss Sebi's desk where she does all her administration work. Over here is another library of books for your children and everything by law that you need to know about Miss Sebi and Miss Yuna. I have a master teaching degree. We have our CPR and first aid, our mandated reporter um, classes. We have certificates of learning. We take many classes. This is our kitchen. And inside here, let me just take this out, is we have a sensory table. And in here, you're going to learn the numbers, how to sort. How to identify numbers, how to use a fishing pole that will catch a fish with a number. And you put them in order and sort. Over here, our kitchen, you guys are going to be learning to cook. And Miss Debbie has many, many cookbooks up here to teach you all the different recipes of foods all over the world will be introduced to you and you'll taste them and you'll cook them. Now we're going into classroom number two. This right here is our cozy corner. This is an area to calm down, to just rest, to read stories to your friends or yourself. You come over here to the library. You pick flannel books. You will choose regular books of all different types of stories of people all over the world. You'll learn how to tell time. Here's another table where you eat. You'll do math, you'll do science, you'll do art, you'll do writing. Over here is our science center where you'll learn all about bugs and weather. And you'll learn about pine cones and rocks and, and where you can find things. We'll go on scavenger hunts. You'll do computer work, magnet works. Is this magnetic or is it non-magnetic? Can it connect or it doesn't connect? You'll learn about foods, where they come from, how we will grow foods how we will grow plants. Over here is our dry erase board where you can write, you can draw, or you can make words like your name with magnets and they are in the shape of letters. It's gonna be wonderful. This is our bulletin board, more stories. This here is just welcoming you to Palmer Playmates Family Child Care, your teacher's name, you have vocabulary words in English and Spanish. You will get a home packet periodically that you'll have activities to do at home. Over here, we've made you each a special box of toys and materials to learn and play and have fun. There'll be computers and writing chalk and um, dry erase boards and erasers and you'll have puzzles and you'll have locks that unlock and lock and and little blocks and all kinds of things to help you learn over here we'll learn about sorting and colors and dice and matching and taking turns so over here is our block area we have all kinds of things that you can add to your block area. Frogs, cars, letters, dinosaurs. Over here we have musical instruments from all over the world. You'll learn about Mexico and Europe and Africa and just wonderful places. You'll learn what musical instruments can do, how they sound. Okay. 
Over here we have a tool bench for building, for hammering, learning how to use a wrench to measure, learning how to use screwdrivers and saws, just all kinds of things. Here's some more musical instruments from all over the world that you make music. And here is our schedule. You are going to learn from 7 in the morning to 4.30 at night. When you come, when you play, when you eat, when you have circle time, all the different activities and times when you're going to learn a schedule, a routine, and how to tell time on a clock. Okay, and then over here, we'll give you another shot of our classroom number two. And this is our circle time carpet where you will sing and dance. We'll have our greetings. We'll have our sharing time, our story times. We'll have feelings. We'll have flannelboard stories. We'll sing. We'll dance. We'll talk about things together. And we'll plan. We'll plan our day together. What is it that you want to do? What is it that you want to learn? You'll tell your teacher. And now we're going to be going outside to show you our beautiful playground that we've designed just for you. Hi, Miss Eunice. Hey, guys. <laughs> so it's Miss Eunice's turn. She's playing with Play-Doh. And here she is. Thank you, Miss Debbie. See Debbie. you later. We'll see you in a little bit. <laughs> okay. Only teachers touch the door, guys, okay? So I was playing Play-Doh right now on our art table. On this art table, we're gonna be doing Play-Doh, stencils, painting. We have a whole bunch of stuff. I'm going to show you everything we could do on this table. And every day I will ask you guys, what do you wanna play outside on our art table and our playground? And whatever you tell me, I will set it up. So if you're playing Play-Doh, when you're done, you have to clean up whatever you're playing with if you want to play something else. When you're done with your Play-Doh, you put it back in your Play-Doh container. You close it really, really tight. Each Play-Doh will have a child's name on it. This is Miss Eunice. That is Miss Kinsley with Wigdale. Camilla. Miss Eunice does not touch Kinsley's Play-Doh. Camilla does not touch Raydell's Play-Doh. We keep our hands to our own Play-Doh. When you're done, you put it on your plate that also has your name. You put your cookie cutters. There you go. You leave it on the table and you make sure you push your chair in carefully. Okay? Now I want to show you guys our full playground. <laughs> the first thing you guys will do when you come out, you will come to our beautiful flower table and put your water bottle on your letter. If you don't know your letter, it's okay. We're going to teach you. K for Kinsley, so we look for the K. Right there. This is Miss Eunice water. We make sure we all have our water outside. So if we're playing and you're running around and you get really hot and really thirsty, you don't have to ask us if you can drink water. You just walk over here to your water and you get the one that belongs to you. And again, if you don't remember which one it is, you just ask us and we're always here to help you. So this is a red pegboard. It's a pretty fun game that I love to play. We have to try to make the circles into the pegs. Are you guys ready? Sometimes we miss and that's okay. You can throw them, you can make shapes as you see here, a square. We also have a painting section here. We're gonna have dot painting, we're gonna have finger painting, we're gonna have all kinds of painting. We want you guys to have fun. Right on the other side, we have a chalkboard and a whiteboard if you guys wanna draw with markers or draw with chalk. And if you guys wanna do chalk too, we can do chalk on all of this green floor right here. Not on the gray floor, only on the green floor. So I want to show you guys our whole playground. Right here we have all our art supplies. We have our markers, we have our chalk, we have our paint. On top we have a CD player where Miss Eunice will be playing music when we do PE and when we're playing around. We have our tissues in case we get the sniffles because we do not clean our noses on our shirts or our hands. 
we get a tissue, we clean our nose, and we throw it in the trash. I will show you guys where it is in one second. We also have sunglasses. If you think that sun is too bright in your eyes and you want to wear glasses, you just say, Miss Eunice, can I wear sunglasses? We have hats. And here we have all our paper supplies, paper towels, more tissues to make sure we never run out, and we have our aprons. Right here we have one of our kitchen sets. Let's see what we got cooking. We got some bacon and some eggs. I love bacon and eggs. Mmm, we have some pie. Let's open the oven and see what we have in here. We have some more pastries. If one of your friends is playing in your kitchen, in that kitchen, it's okay. You just come over to the other kitchen. We have plenty of toys to share. We have some chicken and some garlic cooking. Mm -mm -mm. Let's see what's in this oven. Ooh, pizza. I love pizza. My favorite pizza is cheese pizza. We have a tool bench. And this is one of my favorites. We have a grill where you guys can make your very own mm, hot dogs or burgers. Or you can cook a tortilla. Let's see what we have in here. Mm -mm -mm. We have corn and peas. That looks delicious. Right over here, we have our outside cozy corner. If you need a moment to yourself, if you want to be by yourself and play by yourself, that's okay too. Because sometimes we just want to sit by ourselves and that's okay. You just sit down right there, relax. You get a book or you can sit on our art table here and make some awesome beautiful works of art. Our trash can is right there. When you get your tissue, you clean your nose. You walk right over here and throw it right in the trash. This is our shed. In here, I have all of the games that you guys can think of. We have golf, we have bowling, we have baseball, we have basketball, we have a whole bunch of stuff in there. And whatever you guys told me you want to play with that day, I will bring it out and set it up for you guys. Right over here is our butterfly garden. We'll see if we see butterflies today. We see a lot of butterflies every single day. This is a special plant called milkweed. The caterpillars love to eat it and they get really, really fat. They turn into cocoons. And then after a while, they turn into beautiful butterflies. We will be learning more about this here at school. And if you guys are ever forgetting what you look like, look what we have here. A mirror. There's a mirror. Here's Miss Eunice. You can look at yourself if you want to make an angry face, a sad face, a happy face, or you can just wave hi to yourself and then you can go play. Right here we have our phone booth. You can sit in there and make a call. You can pretend you're calling your mom, your dad, your auntie your pet dog i have a dog his name is chocolate you can pretend you're calling him if you have a hamster you can pretend you're calling your hamster you can call whoever you want and this is our playhouse are you guys ready to see the awesomeness inside all right we have a fridge we also have some extra food up there we have some bouncy balls a high chair strollers, and shopping carts with babies. All sorts of babies, all beautiful. There's only two friends in the playhouse at one time. If you wanna play in the playhouse, we need to give our friend a turn and then our next friend can go in there. If you wanna take something out of the playhouse and play with it out here in the playground, you are more than welcome to. But remember, every time you wanna play something else, you have to clean up, put it back, and then on to the next thing. Right here we have our awesome horse where we throw our balls like this. You guys have to try to make it. Ready? Oh, if you miss, that's okay. We just try and try again because it's all about fun and learning here at Palmer Playmate. This is our rock garden. Our faithful rock garden. These were made by the kids that were here last year. The way that these rocks work 
you put your name and you tell us one thing you're thankful for. Some people wrote they were thankful for their mom, for chocolate, for their sister, for their brother. You can be thankful for anything, anything, anything at all. You want to say hi to Mr. Rockin' Fish? Hi, Mr. Rockin' Fish. We also have our awesome, super duper awesome swing set. These colorful mats you see down here, this is for when you're riding the swing. If you happen to fall off or you sit down, you don't get hurt at all because those are so, so soft. It's only three friends at a time. If you walk in front of the swings, you do not walk in front of the swings. You walk all the way around. You have to walk all the way around. We do not cross this line. We don't go in the back. Only the teacher goes in the back because they have to push your friends on the swing. We do not push our friends, only teachers. Whenever you need help, what do you say? Miss Juno, can you please help me? This is our rocking horse. And this awesome long white thing is our water table. When it's really, really hot, we will have the water table out. We will have three friends at a time. We will have bubbles in there. We'll have soap. We'll have toys. We have boats. We have fish, shark, jellyfish. We have all kinds of things you guys can play in there. But before we use the water table, you have to wear an apron like Miss Eunice. And if you need help putting your apron on and you want to play water, you just say, Miss Eunice, can I have an apron so I can play water? And then I will be more than happy to help you. We have basketball. I love basketball. And look at all of these bikes that we have. All of these bikes. We have taxis. We have police cars. Big bikes. Little bikes. Spider-Man bikes. We have scooters. If one of your friends has your favorite bike, you have to wait until they're done. Wait your turn. We will disinfect it. And you will be able to use it. We have our big sandbox right here, four friends at a time. Every place where you see a pillow, that is where you have to sit. If you want to play in the sandbox, we take off our shoes, we put them right under the swing, I mean the slide, we put our socks inside our shoes, and we go in the sandbox. We do not stand up in the sandbox, we keep our hands to ourselves, and we keep our own toys in our own area. We do not throw sand at our friends either. Are you guys ready? And this is one of my favorite things here at Palmer Playmates. I love the slide because it's so fun to go down the slide. Two friends at a time. You can go on this magic tunnel. This is our game where we will be doing fire drills. You guys will learn what fire drills are. They're so fun. I love learning about safety. Right here, I want to show you. We have a bucket that says to be sanitized. So when you guys are done playing in the sandbox, the toys that you use, we will put them right in there. Just like our Play-Doh, when we're done, we will put them right in that bucket to be clean and sanitized and ready for the next day for you to use. So I'm gonna show you guys our whole playground one more time. I hope you guys get to see some butterflies and cocoons soon. And every single day, guys, I have music. We do exercise in the morning. We do exercise before we go in. We do stretching, breathing exercises. Make sure you guys are relaxed, ready to go. When it's time to clean up, I will say five more minutes then four more minutes, then three more minutes, then two more minutes, then one more minute, and we sing our cleanup song. Clean up, clean up, everybody do your share. And when everything's cleaned up, we all walk around, make sure everything's nice and clean. We come get some more water. We stand in line, take off our shoes, hold our water, and head inside ready to have lunch. Now we're gonna go see what Miss Debbie is doing. Mm, nice and fresh. We will also have a buddy called Mr. Squirty. 
Let's see, where is Miss Debbie? Oh, Miss Debbie. We just showed them our beautiful playground, and there's our mascot, Lady Bella. Mm -hmm. So now Miss Debbie will be telling us what is next, guys. Hi again, everybody. And now the next step is for you all to come and have an orientation with me to complete our parent handbook. And when you sign that parent handbook, you are signing into our family. You are going to follow all the rules and regulations that we have with the state of California, possibly with Head Start, the YMCA, the CDA, the state, um, San Diego County Health Department. You're signing that contract that you will support us here. And we're signing the contract for you that we will support you. So the first thing I want to show you is we're going to keep a COVID-19 coronavirus binder. In here, it's gonna have all the resources that you need. And if you felt that you forgot something that I told you, you go onto the websites and you'll see everything there. These rules are, um, they have to be abided by, not only by me, my assistant, but also by you, okay? Also, I have this binder if you needed to look at something, it's going to be there for you. And all the testing sites, um, the testing sites, if you do come in contact with someone, you need to be quarantined. You can't bring your children or yourself here to bring the infection here to us if you've been exposed to it. It has all the documentation of what to do and where the testing sites are that are free. We're going to refer you to the ones that are free, but then again, we don't have any control if they started charging, if their um, hours are restricted. So um, we just wanted to tell you that. So we're going to have an orientation and you're going to complete all the paperwork um, and then your children will start with us. There's certain policies, procedures, and documentation I'm going to need from you before you can start. And um, then you'll um, sign in with masks and go through all those procedures. And then we'll do our part in accepting your child and um, having all kinds of learning um, opportunities. Now, Miss Eunice, did you show them the apron? Because no. I have it right here. So show them your apron. I'm going to get it up for just a minute, you guys, and I'll sit right back down. And I want to show you another precaution we're going to be taking. We had aprons made for your children. And their names are going to be on this, these aprons. And they're going to wear them. One of the policies that we have that will be in your parent handbook is you need to bring us extra clothes. So if something happened, they got a runny nose here and, and it got on their clothes or on their apron, we'll change them. Okay, so you need to help us with that. But these are the beautiful aprons. They'll have their names on them. And the teachers will be wearing aprons as well. That's going to be another protection of germs that we thought we would do for all of you, okay? So um, another thing I want to tell you about is we take field trips here. When the um, state opens up for us to be safe, we will not go on any field trips um, until it's safe. Um, we go on nature walks here. We have parent night, back to school night. We have parent activities and the children put on parent shows for you. Um, we have all kinds of events here. And um, when the library opens, we'll have a library night and your child will get a library card. Um, we have a disaster preparedness event. It's here. It's a class at four o'clock that you need to take with me so you'll know all the um, procedures. If you can't get to the school because the road closure, there's a flood, there's a fire, you'll know that your children are safe and um, that will get to you and you'll get to your kids as soon as you can. If I had a flood or fire here, you need to know where we're gonna be. Um, what else can I tell you? Um, just we're excited. We're we're very um, just honored that you put your trust in us to care for your children. And um, Miss Eunice, is there anything that you'd like to say? No. Okay. I'm Miss Eunice. This is Miss Debbie and Lady Bella. I have been with Miss Debbie for a year now. I love it here. I love the school. I love the environment. As soon as you walk in, it feels like somebody's giving you a great big hug, and that's what we hope to provide for your children, a fun, learning, safe, 
environment for them to be able to engage with their friends, engage with us, engage with each other, and learn not only about their surroundings and their environment and numbers, but also in the process, they will be learning a lot about themselves as well. They'll be learning how to be independent, and they will be learning just to have fun and explore, and we want to be able to provide that for them. And I feel honored, as Ms. Debbie mentioned, for having that trust between us to be able to take care of your child and I'm looking forward to being their teacher. I'm so excited. Thank you and thank you all. Um, this virtual tour as well as well as our website. We have a YouTube and we're going to be posting on there almost every day. This is going to be on YouTube and I'll let you know when I call you to set up your orientation and to um, accept the program. And I'll let you know about our website that you check every day. So even though you cannot come in, I am going to give you tools and this beautiful YouTube and our website so that you just um, sign into it with your child. And at nighttime or whatever time is good for you, you review and you look and you enjoy all the things that are going to be going on here. You get to see it firsthand. Um, so I'll share all that information with you. You'll be getting home packets to do activities with your children. There's all kinds of virtual learning we're going to do. And what that means is we might have only part-time hours. They might close us down a little bit um, in our hours. So we'll give you resources to go on tablets and computers to teach your children. And we'll also provide you with the supplies. So it's going to be wonderful. Thank you again. Um, and we're just, again, we're honored and um, we can't wait to meet you all and those of you that are returning to us, um, we can't wait. So Lady Bella says goodbye to you and I say aloha. Love you guys.